What's up, Cancer? Welcome to BMHP. Hope everyone is enjoying their summer. Definitely uh, getting out, living their best life, seeing those manifestations that we did January 1st. Hopefully you're starting to see some of those things come to pass, Cancer. But either way, beloved, let's go ahead and jump into this you versus me reading for you and your person. Kind of see where the energy is at this time. So, beloved, what's up with Cancer and their person? Where's the energy at, please? So, for you, Cancer, you got Priest and Interesting. You cover your person in some type of way, Cancer. I'm going to get back to that card in a moment. For your person, wow. Mystic. Wow, you guys are both very spiritually connected, spiritually inclined. And the conjoining energies is queen. I mean, damn, it can't get no better. Than, well, it could get better than that. But I mean, for uh, a connection, wow, priest and mystic. If those aren't two people that belong together, okay? But um, Cancer, either you cover your person or your person covers you in prayer this person is a mystic so this person um is is very connected to the divine as well but then you have this queen energy coming up that's joining you too so it means like you guys could be like the kings and queens of love i'm sorry the kings and queens of love of money of thoughts of fire whatever right but mm, interesting energy. Let me see which decks do I want to use for you guys. Okay. No. Okay. So, which one do I want to use for Cancer? Okay, so Cancer for you, I'm going to use this deck. For your person, we'll use this one. So let's go ahead, jump into this energy and see why is it so such a spiritual connection. You guys could be twin flame, soulmate, something like that. But this is definitely a connection that is like heavenly or something like that. The angels are involved in this connection, guiding this connection, something like that. But it's interesting that priest card, cancer, whether you're male or female, either someone covers you or you cover someone. And covering, I don't, I'm not sure if you guys understand that terminology as far as covering. But, um, you know, uh, a, a wife, husband covers her. Uh, a husband is covered by God. You know, that type of energy. But let's see what's up with your person. Beloved, what's going on with Cancer's person, please? Hmm. Two things with this energy, Cancer. The first thing I got was, okay, they're hiding something, but then that got scratched off with, no, this person is in a state of depression. Something's bothering this person. This person is so intuitive, but there's something bothering this person, something that they don't know about that's bothering them, okay? So they got the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Cups. The Fool and the Knight of Wands. Oh, wow. Mm. And for the, for the conjoining energy, wow. They got the Ace of Cups. Wow. The Two of Cups and the Nine of Wands, Cancer. Damn. If this person don't love you, I don't know what's going on, Cancer. But let's see. What's the energy for Cancer, please? How does Cancer feel about their person please what's the energy for cancer please what's the energy for cancers sitting in the park waiting on you or something like that mm. either way integration Look at that, Cancer. Look how beautiful you show up, okay? So you're very divine. 
you're definitely a high priestess you get um messages from the universe this is part this person's part of your energy this yin yang energy that you kind of got going on you're very connected to the universe cancer Your thoughts radiate into the universe and become manifestations, Cancer. I go on and on, but for the sake of time, let's go ahead and get into it. So, ordinariness and the thunderbolt is in your headspace. In your heart, you have trust and creativity. In your overall energy, oh shit, you have mind and harmony. For your headspace, you have transformation. In your heart, you have courage, and in your overall energy, you have change. So let's go ahead and get into this energy and see what's going on with you, Cancers, and your person. So um, let's start with your person. Your person is a person of faith. They, um, it's like they believe in manifestation and they know their value, know their worth. But something, for some reason, they feel like they're missing their king or something with that crown just sitting there. Like they have everything they want in the world. But it's like that one thing that's missing. This person is a person that's very self self sufficient, independent. Cancer can take care of their self. Very wise, very knowledgeable. Whatever they put into the universe, it manifests as well. This is a person that dresses nicely. They could adorn themselves in jewels or take. This is a person that takes good care of themselves. But I feel like, what was I saying before about this person? Oh my goodness, please, beloved, bring it back to me. Because it's significant for this card. So, I feel like this is a person, Cancer, where they, they had love in their life. They could have had at least two loves, but they didn't focus on that as the primary thing. They, the primary focus has always been like work, school, business, something like that. Like they had other goals, other focuses. Like this person could be a, um, an educator, a teacher, or someone who's like a philosopher, someone who likes to talk or does public speaking or talk to people or when they converse with people, people listen and people pay attention. But I see that this person like is open-minded. They could be very um, knowledgeable in things of spirituality. They might teach younger kids or something like that, be a basketball coach or something along those lines. But this person is very spiritually connected. Something bothers this person about this connection though, Cancer. I think I said something like that early, earlier. This person, that's what I said. This person is depressed because there's something, there's something they don't know about. They may feel betrayed in some way with this judgment card, but um, it's something this person is worried about that keeps them depressed. It's like it's like the. The universe of the angels, or these are fairies. I don't really get down with the fairies. But, um, it's something that bothers them. They're trying to discover truth, or it's like Beloved is trying to help them get something off the ground or something like that. But something about this connection bothers them because they feel like you could be their, um, their their forever person but it's something that bothers them and because they are so unsure of themselves they take risks they take chances they kind of go with 
with what they feel for the moment type energy. This person isn't afraid. This person doesn't live by fear. It's like they walk by faith, not by sight. Because to be a fool in this energy, you have to walk by faith and not by sight. Because that fool's not worried about nothing. Okay? A lot of fool, um, a lot of people look at this Joker's energy be like, oh, it's just, you know, you don't want to be a fool. But the fool is a person that walk by faith, not by sight. Because even though those prickly things are there, what if there's something beyond that that can hold him up? What if in this energy he pre-cut those things that set him there? I'm just saying. So this person, the person could be analytical as well with cancer. But um, they definitely love the shit out you, cancer, but they don't trust you. They definitely don't trust you sexually. Something within that type of energy, like maybe they hurt something or something like that, but they don't trust you sexually, cancer. Okay, so um, what was this epiphany moment you had when you was just walking down the street or um, enjoying your day? It's like you had an epiphany out of nowhere. And um, it's like since you had that epiphany, something has changed within you. It's like, what did I say? That that like what you think um, permeates the universe, something like that. Your energy, for some reason, is so strong into the universe. But it don't want to. No one can connect with you, Cancer, unless you choose to, because of of the power that you exude from yourself, Cancer. It's like you're this person. You're full of um um. Wow, I almost said magic. Maybe so. But you're full of magic. You're full of love. But I don't know if if you're in this fool energy where you trust anyone. Okay, because that's what's in your heart. It's like you want to trust this person. You want to, but it's like I'm not sure if you do, because you you're like I don't know. You're easily overwhelmed by emotions, but what you end up doing, Cancer, is playing it all out in your head before anything can even happen. Okay, remember what you think radiates from you. Okay. Like, everything you think radiates from you. You are a powerful manifester, Cancer. And I feel like you could be happy with this person, but your mind be playing tricks on you and telling you you can't. Because why do you have the transformation card and they have the Ace of Cups with this Queen energy? Is it that you're transforming or are you ending this relationship with this person because of the mind? Okay. Because I can see in your heart that, like, you need courage. You want to have courage. Like, this this, this connection to you came out of nowhere. And you're kind of like, what the hell is this? <laughs> but I see, Cancer, that whatever you put out into the universe, this is so big for your reading. Whatever you think about, you put out into the universe. I don't know if you know how powerful you are, but whatever you think about, you put out into the universe. It's like crazy how powerful you is. And whether or not you know it, I don't know. So if you've been thinking negative thoughts towards this person, that's why it's been coming to fruition. If you've been thinking positive thoughts, that's why it's been coming into fruition, Cancer. So I'm going to use this deck for you. <laughs> that part of the deck for your person. Excuse me. <laughs> so what's going on with um cancer? What else does cancer need to know, please? What else does cancer need to know about this person? What does cancer need to know about this person? <laughs> Excuse me. All right. And what does this person need to know about cancer, please? What does this person need to know about cancer? Wow. It's amazing how loud those wanted to be for cancer. So, um... Cancer, this could be a, a fair woman or a woman with blonde hair. And don't get caught up in the hair because 
people wear weave nowadays and then in your energy someone's trying to come between you and a friend or something you want so someone's trying to drive a wedge between you and this person in this relationship cancer but let's see what's up so you have food increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals you have bull do not back down from opposition show strength and fortitude you have the sun happiness and well-being and you have broken wishbone a wish will not be granted so um so cancer what you need to know about this person is this person seemed like they've they've tried and tried. Maybe they kicked themselves in the ass for putting in so much work, so much effort, cancer with this boot energy. But I see that this person is a person that can be very stubborn at some time with this bull energy. Like um they they'll go toe to toe with you. But it's only because they love you so much, Cancer, that they'll go toe to toe with you. Really what they want is to bring you joy, to bring you happiness. But for some reason they feel like they can't get it from you or they won't get it from you maybe you won't give it to them cancer and then um what does what do you need to know about cancer boat money or prosperity through an inheritance windfall or winnings i psychic's ability trust your intuition told you cancer y'all y'all are cold in that right now okay quill get back to the basics and good fortune um, cross watcher, what did you need to know about cancer? Is cancer is very intuitive right now? What, like, whatever they think, it comes to um, pass. Not only that, their mind they need their mind to be focused because if their mind is messed up, then everything in their life is kind of messed up. Their, their mind is their prize right now, like, um, like this person might just want to do ordinary things day to day but that's what seems to be bringing them um fortune or something this person could um travel from you or away from you or be coming back towards you or something like that but this person got a lot of money coming in so i feel like cancer's trying to focus on that right now you know because like i said whatever cancer puts their mind to it looks like it's coming into fruition okay so let's see what else does cancer need to know? What else does cancer need to know, please? What else does cancer need to know? Thank you so much, beloved. What else does cancer need to know, please? Thank you. What else does Cancer need to know, please? All right, and there you are, Cancer, at the bottom of the deck, and you're coming up in your own reading. So, we have the Three of Swords, the Lovers, the Two of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Chariot. This person is hurt as fuck over you, Cancer. They love you. They see you as their ultimate soulmate. Like, all they want to do is, like, be with you, grow with you, expand with you and whatnot. But I see, Cancer, that you're being a little cold towards this person. And this person is very sad. They got everything else but you type energy. Oh, so it's coming back to this Seven of Pentacles energy. Like, this person got everything they want in the world. But you, with this chariot energy, maybe you left, maybe you're leaving them, Cancer, maybe you're moving on past this connection, but whatever it is, it's hurting this person. But either way, Cancer, that's the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Love and light.